Russia fires up to 70,000 artillery shells daily in Ukraine. Russian forces routinely fire five to six times as many artillery rounds per day as the Ukrainian military, a Ukrainian general staff official speaking anonymously told NV. Russian troops in Ukraine have ramped up their artillery usage to between 60,000 and 70,000 rounds fired each day, a sharp increase from the daily count of about 15,000 during the summer of 2023. The source attributed Russia's surge in artillery fire to shipments from Iran and North Korea as well as expanded domestic manufacturing. They explained that the escalation has been gradual, from approximately 10,000 to 15,000 shells per in the summer to about 20,000 in the fall, and since the start of 2024, it soared to 60,000 to 70,000. In contrast, Ukraine currently fires some 10,000 to 12,000 rounds daily, according to sources. Ukraine is still likely to be outgunned by Russian artillery for much of the rest of 2024, despite Congress nearing the passage of a $60 billion military aid bill for Kyiv, officials and analysts told foreign policy as both the United States and Europe ramp up production of NATO standard rounds and restock their own arsenals. The optimistic view of the conflict for Ukraine is that new assistance will buy it much needed time. It can hold the line this year and replenish units that were badly damaged in last year's disappointing counter-offensive, hopefully putting it in a better position to push back Russia's gains in 2025. By that time, Ukraine will have access to some new capabilities such as F-16 fighter jets and more importantly, the US and Europe will have ramped up their production of artillery ammunition, hopefully allowing the Ukrainians to narrow the Russians' ammo advantage. At present, Russia's military has been firing as much as five times as many artillery shells as the Ukrainians. One US commander recently warned that the advantage could soon be as high as 10 to 1. Farther from the front lines, Ukraine's much vaunted air defense systems, which once shot down around 90% of Russian missiles and drones, have become dramatically less effective with disastrous consequences for Ukraine's cities and infrastructure. A powerful tornado hit the United States. The storm is raging in Nebraska, Iowa, and Texas. Nebraska was hit hardest by the disaster. Destruction was also recorded in Texas and Iowa. Point three people were hurt in Nebraska's Lancaster County when a tornado hit an industrial building, causing it to collapse with 70 people inside. Several were trapped, but everyone was evacuated and the injuries were not life threatening, authorities said. The National Weather Service issued tornado watches across parts of Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and Texas. Forecasters warned that large hail and strong wind gusts were possible. It does look like a big outbreak again tomorrow, said Becky Kern, the warning coordination meteorologist in the National Weather Service's Omaha office. According to local media, hundreds of houses were destroyed and several people were injured. Multiple tornadoes have been reported across the state but the most destructive storm moved from a largely rural area into suburbs northwest of Omaha, a city of 485,000 people. One tornado plowed through suburban Omaha, damaging hundreds of homes and other structures as the twister tore for miles along farmland and into subdivisions. Some injuries were reported but there were no immediate reports that anyone was killed. Police and firefighters went door to door to help people, going to the hardest hit area with a plan to search anywhere someone could be trapped, Omaha Fire Chief Kathy Bossman said. In Lancaster County, where three people were injured when an industrial building collapsed, Sheriff's officials also said they had reports of a tipped-over train near Waverly, Nebraska. Turned up here. Hey, let's get up to the sky real quick. Yeah, let's go see. I got the mid, get the car if you need it.